Good morning from day two aboard the NCL getaway. So for today, we are headed off to do a couple of things and then we'll see where the day takes us. First, we're gonna go off, grab something for breakfast. We're going to go to the tournament. Um, my mother signed us up for a slot tournament, so we'll see how that goes. And then we also, well, we I have a spa appointment. I'm getting a mani-pedi and we'll see what else we have to do today besides eat. I hope you're ready because we are so very excited. Here we go. To enter the slot tournament, we did that in advance when we were planning all of our other activities. It was $35 per person. They did run the tournament multiple times throughout the cruise. So if you wanted to enter a tournament, you just stop by the casino booth prior to and sign yourself up. The way this works is that you sit down at a machine with all of the other contestants. When you're told to go, you frantically hit the buttons until um, they tell you to stop. The whole goal is to gain as many points as possible. The person who scores the highest moves on to the next round in the tournament. We were not lucky at this one. We lost, but we had fun. Okay, so I just finished up with my spa treatment and I use the term spa lightly. I had a mani-pedi. I had added on to the treatment a paraffin wrap for my feet and that was simply heavenly. You look out onto the ocean as you're sitting there having your feet and your nails done. It's amazing. So just wanted to let you know what the experience was like. It was wonderful. It was luxurious. It took well over an hour the entire um, experience. Um, yes, you could definitely get this done cheaper um, at your local nail salon, but all in, this was a $200 job here. So would I do it again? Yeah, probably I would. I have two of the treatments planned, so I'll let you know how those go. Okay, so I am in yet another super loud location. Today I am in Oceans. We're having a late lunch. Um, this is right off of the atrium in the middle of 678, so it's on floor 7. So our food has just arrived to the table. The little guy got the chicken tenders twice. There are only two tenders on a plate. So you want to be aware of that. Mom got a plain burger, and they do customize the burgers for you. And Paul got the fish and chips and a Reuben. I just took a bite of my fish and chips. Delicious. And the other thing that I would say, the food comes to the table piping hot. So this is better than any buffet, and it's almost, I'm going to take a few more bites, but it's starting to look like it's better than dinner was last night. Oshihens for the win. On one side of Oshians, you'll find the food where we had lunch. On the opposite side, you'll find a bunch of games. So you'll find things like bowling, air hockey, ski ball, basketball, and I believe there was also a dart set. It was our experience that these games cost about a dollar and sixty-six cents per game. Um, so that was an odd number, but these games you will need to pay for. They are not complimentary. One thing to add here is that some of these games do pay out tickets. You can take those tickets upstairs to the arcade and cash them in for a prize. All right, here we go. It's bingo time. We're deciding right now which package we're going to get. I always do at least the 27 chances at least once. The way how it is. Okay, so we're going to boo the standards. Bro, right there. And on this day, bingo was lucky for me. Here I am claiming a prize. If you're into model ships, they have the Norwegian getaway ship. And this is coming in at $59.99. They have watches, different clothing items. Then they have these little cups hooked on cruising. I love it. And this is $16.99. Norwegian getaway coasters these are $6.99 then you have some crystal jewelry over here if you're interested in jewelry these are nice these shirts are no price they're free <laughs> the price on these is $42.99. I like those. And these hats and t-shirts are $29.99. And getaway 
water bottle. These are $32.99. It's getaway specific. Here's another one. This one's a little, oh, that's the same price, $32.99. These are $16.99 for those. $14.99 for these. $16.99 on those. Then you have your cups. These are $28.99. Then you have these Norwegian water bottles. $26.95. And these mugs over here are $31.99. These are really cool as well. And then you have clothing items back here. Beach bags. Golf shirts. Cruise the Unknown, that's a cool shirt. This is $36.99. They've got you covered on sunscreen if you need that. They've got pool shoes as well. Some more cover-ups back here. Some sweatshirts, a little hooked on cruising again. Okay, here are your standard souvenirs. You have keychains, $12.99 on that keychain. This one is also $12.99. Oh, here we go. It's a Christmas ornament. I don't know if we need any more magnets at home, but I don't see a price on these. And that's this particular store in a nutshell. Okay, so up next is Teppanyaki. We did eat at Teppanyaki. That is a group setting, so we didn't want to um, go on camera and say a lot about teppanyaki and the food that we had there. I didn't want to disturb the fellow diners. My mom requested that restaurant. She was in her world. She was singing, she was humming. She was just loved it, loved every moment of it. Here at Teppanyaki, they start you off with a soup and a salad. The miso soup is your standard Japanese restaurant miso soup, though I would say this one was saltier than I'm used to, so I would not eat this again. Uh, the seaweed salad, I was surprised, was actually pretty good. Um, they actually put the seaweed salad on top of some coleslaw, and I'm not usually a coleslaw person, but with the seaweed salad on top of it, it's pretty good. <laughs> choice uh, from the menu. You could get one entree and then one dessert. Uh, everyone had a little bit of a different dish. I actually had um, the meal that came with the shrimp and the scallops. The shrimp were excellent. Um, the scallops, I didn't love them. I gave them to Paul. He said that he loved his scallops. Um, he loved my scallops, I should say, not his scallops. My mom had the New York strip, which you know they cut down into bite-sized pieces for you. And she had so much of the rice, she was so in love with the rice, she really couldn't finish her steak. But what she had of it, she said it was good, it was tender, it was nicely flavored. And Paul actually had the um, beef, he had his rare, I think, as well as the shrimp. We both love the shrimp. The shrimp was excellent. The beef, uh, he also enjoyed the beef. He thought that was really good. Um, and I would say the sauces were great. There was a ginger sauce and a mustard sauce. I like both of those sauces. I always get confused. Should it be for the vegetables? Should it be for the fish? I don't know. They're both good. 
All right, let's move quickly over to desserts. So my mom and I had the fresh fruit platter. We really like the fruit on there. Um, there was watermelon, there was kiwi, there was pineapple, all of the different melons, and these two sauces. One of them was mango and the other one was coconut. I tried the mango sauce for the first time and it was really very, very good. Um, it added a little flavor so if your fruit wasn't quite sweet, the mango gave it a nice sweetness. Paul, on the other hand, had the green tea cake. He wasn't wild about the cake, but the cake did come with a crisp that had um, sugar and nuts in it. He liked that. And there was an ice cream on the side. The menu doesn't say exactly what was in the ice cream, but he believes it was vanilla and it had some sort of fruit in it. All right, last but not least, um, they bought out some Jello for the little guy. He's not entirely sure what the flavor was and I didn't taste it. He thinks it was mango. So it started off good, he tells me, nice and sweet, but there was a little bit of an aftertaste to it. So that was left behind and instead he ate or shared the fresh fruit with me and mom. Okay, the last thing that I would say about teppanyaki is it is considered a specialty dining restaurant. On this cruise, we got the um, free dining. So we used our free dining. We got two free meals per person. So there is normally a cover charge for this restaurant plus a 20% gratuity. When the bill came tonight, it was zero dollars. Um, my mother gave her card, so she used one of her two meals, and Paul gave his card, so he used one of his two meals. Teppanyaki, will we do it again? Absolutely, yes. Um, it's a, depending on how often you come on the NCL cruises, how close your cruises are together, it might be in every other restaurant, but if you come every two years, maybe you do it every time. All depends on how you feel about the atmosphere. Like I said, it is loud. You do have to share a table with people that you don't know if you're not coming with a large group, but it was very much worth it. So just wanna round up some things for you, just give you some pointers and some tips. First, some good news, we were, um, I was a winner at bingo, yay, my first time ever winning a bingo prize, so very exciting. Uh, the one thing that I thought was that I was gonna get an onboard credit, but they didn't give me onboard credit, they actually gave me cash, so keep that in mind, that's something that's really cool. Um, we were able to do a standby at Burn the Floor. Burn the Floor was great. That cast had such great energy. They were really into it. They were bringing it. It was a lot of fun, high energy. Um, I will say that our nine-year-old was a little impatient. He'd rather go to the arcade, so he went to the arcade after the show with his dad. Other thing that I did want to let you know is we spoke to the cruise rewards desk, a couple of other things. They no longer do towel animals as a practice. And the reason for that is it's a good reason. They are now being more green and the more towel animals they do, the more um, laundry they have to do, the worse that is for the ocean. So they're doing it um, sporadically. Also learn that you don't get um, two or three um, visits to your room as far as service is concerned. They only come into your room once to clean. Once they do that, that's that. Um, they'll drop your daily for the next day and that's the end of that. You won't see them again until the next day. I hope that you found this video helpful and that you enjoyed your time with us today and that you learned something more about NCL and the getaway. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so that you know when the next adventure begins. And no matter where your next adventure takes you, we hope that you enjoy the journey. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.